actually start even closer to the end. Last time on Lime with Link, this happened. Okay guys, welcome back. First of all, my mic was off, so my mouse is not gonna move to the woods. I promise it's not like this anywhere else, and it's YouTube, so what are you gonna do? Also, this part's kinda boring, so let's go quick through it. actually building this wall right now so I want to take you a little bit down this journey with me so that we can know exactly what I'm thinking so when you are making your own food truck or your own whatever I don't know whatever uh, you can follow along and build your own wall so right now um, we're going for eight feet tall but we need to cut a half inch off each stud so that we can have a slope on the roof we don't want the water to pool on the roof so what we're doing is actually marking each stud half inch less starts from eight feet going down see there you go this actually this wall too is a little bit different because we're gonna have to put the actual food truck door in it out oh, the food truck opening for the window so you can actually serve the food so that one, um, we're going to be building the third stud out for that, for the actual door for the food truck. It's actually going to be really cool because I'm making everything from scratch. There's no glass door, no glass window. I'm building, I'm making everything. So literally this here, I'm going to be doing a breakdown of what everything costs me um, so that you guys can know what to get expected into. And maybe you can show me how to save some money too. Okay, man. So we have to build this wall exactly the same as that wall. But this one, we have to keep these two studs. We're gonna make a hole for the door, for the window, for the food truck. All right, so these two studs here, just um, before you cut, like cut everything else except these two. And then we'll do the rest together. Yeah, that's where the food truck window is. Wicked, man. name of the game always for me is trying to make things as cheap as possible so I'm making the window here out of a table so this is actually a stainless steel table that I don't need for the actual food truck so what I'm trying to do is to show you guys how easy it is to repurpose something to um, make sure you save a little bit of money but still get the product that you want so right now I'm just taking off the legs and I'll show you what I mean
All right, guys, uh, we've completely finished instruction now. Come with me, let me show you what I've done. Um, as you can see, we've put up all of the walls. We left some of the plywood down so I could sh do some of it to show you exactly how I did it. Um, it's not hard, it's a little time consuming, but we'll, I'll show you how I get it done. And um, you can check over right here. You can see it is done already, but let's cut this one and install it on here. Oh damn, I should have put the drill here, shouldn't I have? Alright guys, so just cut this to the right size. We're just lining it up here and we're just gonna screw it in. Inside here, we're gonna start the plumbing, the electrical, uh, and the gas line, and we'll start the running the fire insulation, the fire stuff, make sure everything's all properly done for the food, real food trucks in Toronto, Canada. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been a journey. This journey is almost done, though. Maybe two or three more days, we'll be on the road. So let's go.